you know, raw materials are the linchpin of electrification. Right? You cannot see through your electrification plans without the nickel, the cobalt, the lithium. The battery chemistry keeps changing. So if 10 years from now you're recycling batteries and all you want to do is use recycled batteries to produce new batteries, you'll have a bit of a mismatch. My name is Ajay Kochar. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of Lifecycle. My name is Kunal Sinha, and I'm the head of recycling for Glencore. Lifecycle started five years ago, and uh, we started this company to really address for us, which was the glaring hole around battery recycling. Glencore has been in recycling for a number of years, and some of our assets have been recycling for 75 plus years. We've also been uh, a very large recycler of battery metals. I think the partnership with Lifecycle is fairly unique, and what it really allows us to do is is effectively, at scale, you know, close the loop um, for the OEMs, for battery manufacturers, uh, and just in general the industry uh, as a whole. And I think building a little bit off of what brought this partnership so closely together is often alignment of values and the approach of executing. Our customers in the ecosystem are extremely aware of the need of recycling and the solutions. And it starts in two places. There's a scrap as you make batteries, and then there's end of life. And end of life has been a big question mark, right? You hear, you go on Twitter, you see people even debating about end of life of EV. So it's it's a common you know question. The way we look at it is at the end of the day, if you work backwards from net zero, and you say electrification is very important, EVs are very important, and you want to make sure EVs don't get bottlenecked in their ramp up, then raw material is a is a concern. At the same time, you have within North America and Europe, you have this desire uh, in a supply chain disrupted world and the other factors to create localized supply chains. So what this deal does is we are looking to combine a primary source of battery raw materials with a recycled source of battery raw materials at scale, and we hope to be able to do it in key regions locally. So if you want to solve the net zero challenge as fast as possible, to be practical, you have to combine the primary and the recycle. This is a once in a generation opportunity, right? This is the first time this industry is being built in North America and Europe, and we have to create solutions. And that's what this partnership is all about. It's how to practically create solutions that ultimately get to that objective of net zero. For us to be able to deliver on those goals, both from a primary supply as well as from a recycle supply is very important um, in terms of, you know, our mission, which is, you know, responsibly sourcing and supplying the commodities that are needed for, for everyday life. And we're aligned in that you have to take practical steps to make it happen. Incrementally, gradually, it takes new technology. But that won't all happen overnight, right? And I think that's always been the life cycle philosophy is executing step by step, practically creating solutions, and then moving towards that larger objective. And we think that's very important because it meets many objectives from an OEM and a battery manufacturer perspective, whether it be guarantees of origin, minimum recycled content, or reducing supply chain disruptions by shortening supply chains.